My name is Cristina Mora. I am Associate Professor of Sociology at UC Berkeley, and I authored a book titled Making Hispanics, How Activists, Bureaucrats, and Media Constructed a New American. So if you look at America in the late 1960s, if you were just to just sort of peep in into history, you'd find that Mexicans, Cubans, and Puerto Ricans really inhabited just different worlds. Um, you know, they lived in different spaces. And as far as the Census Bureau went, all of these communities were designated mainly as white. There was really no way of differentiating them from the ancestors of European migration. What the book does is detail the way that civil rights activists, especially Chicano and Puerto Rican groups, came together and demanded um, demanded a category of equal recognition, demanded a way of differentiating their statistics from the white population. One of the arguments of the book is that the term Hispanic, as it was designated by the U.S. Census, is actually really quite broad and almost ambiguous. In fact, there's never been an exact definition of what makes a Hispanic Hispanic. One could be a Hispanic in the U.S. if they just came over from Guatemala or if their great-grandmother was from Argentina. And the book argues that this sort of broad, ambiguous designation was really by design. Once the category was created, there was initial resistance across the United States. Uh, people would say, I'm Mexican, I'm not Hispanic, I'm Cuban, I'm not Latino. Uh, but I think that Latino leaders definitely understood this. And they tried incredibly hard to make panethnicity or make this larger category seem complementary and not mutually exclusive with national, national identity. So, for example, they would say, it's not that you're either Mexican or Hispanic, it's that if you are Mexican, you are also Hispanic. And this was an important ideological or political trick uh, that Latinos leaders did in order to make, uh, to foment and create this sense of uh, uh, communal identity. And so with that, I invite you to come hear more about how Latinos became known as Hispanics in the United States at the next Thinking Ahead event at the Citizens Engagement Lab in Oakland, October 10th.